In this video, we're going to go through some examples of finding dy by dx for these parametric equations. So for this first one, um, remember what we need to do is to find uh, dy by dx using the chain rule. So dy by dx is dy by dt times by dt by dx. So I'm going to need to find dx by dt and dy by dt. So dx by dt is 2t and dy by dt is 3t squared. So dy by dx is going to be dy by dt times by dt by dx, which is 1 over 2t. So we have 3t squared over 2t, which can be simplified to 3t over 2. OK, dividing top and bottom by t. So that is dy by dx given in terms of the parameter t. Now, on note of that, you could theoretically give um, uh, dy by dx in terms of x or y here. Okay, That's not always going to be the case. And in the majority of cases, I would leave it alone unless you're otherwise told to do something with it. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at number two. So x equals sine t, y equals cos t. So dx by dt is cosine of t, and dy by dt is minus sine of t. So dy by dx is dy by dt times by dt by dx, which is 1 over cos t. So we've got minus sine of t over cosine of t, which is minus tan of t. OK, so that is the gradient function for number two. Number three, uh, we've got x equals t cubed minus 3t minus 5. So dx by dt is 3t squared minus 3. And y is equal to 4t squared minus 5t. So dy by dt is 8t minus 5. So dy by dx is dy by dt times by dx by dt. So 1 over 3t squared minus 3. So that leaves us with 8t minus 5 over 3t squared minus 3. OK? That's really all I can do with that one. So finally, number 4. x equals 3e to the 4t. So dx by dt is 12e to the 4t. And if y equals 5e to the 2t, then dy by dt is 10e to the 2t. So dy by dx is dy by dt times by 1 over dx by dt. So we have 10e to the 2t over 12e to the 4t. 10 over 12 is 5 sixths. And we can simplify this because we can divide top and bottom by e to the 2t. So we're going to have 5 over 6e to the 2t. Or 5 sixths e to the minus 2t, if you prefer. OK, so that's the gradient function for number 4.